Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. This one's going to be a little bit more on the rant side of things uh, this time around because we're referring back to an old video I made like two years ago at this point, questioning are we in political parties in Dead by Daylight, kind of relating it more so to the American political system, the bipartisan system. Uh, and mostly when I made that video, I focused on tribalism that is very blatant in Dead by Daylight, and it's something that's been talked to to death. But I feel like it, the situation is actually worse than we thought because it boils down to people actually having solid policies about issues in Dead by Daylight, which for something is um, not serious, not important as a video game, that's kind of like concerning. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. Quickly, I should define what policy means because if you haven't been in government class in a while, you may not remember what that is. Policy is what the government chooses to do, actual or implied, when it comes to a specific issue or uh, problem that the country has. So this could be anything from Second Amendment rights, foreign affairs. You've probably heard this recently brought up in the presidential debates uh, that have been happening uh, where they're asking them, what is your stance on this? What is your policy on this? It's just what in a perfect world, what would I do having to do with these issues that the American uh, population cares about. Now, this obviously gets really heated and people like to have a lot of very rigorous debates and either love or hate candidates because of their policies, because these things have direct impacts on our lives and the safety of our country. If a candidate decides to specifically stand with a policy that infringes upon your rights, well, that affects you directly. So you should be in an uproar over this. You should be feeling very intense about this and arguing with people and dismissing or loving people based upon their stances around those things. However, DVD players have taken a page out of the book of politics and are applying this level of outrage <laughs> and intensity uh, as if they have policies on simple things that happen in the game, such as tunneling, camping, slugging, gen rushing, uh, exhaustion perks. It could be literally anything, but people are forming policies around these things as well, which is uh, interesting. <laughs> this video idea was sparked because very recently I faced a rather larger streamer who will remain nameless. Um, and I titled that game because somebody unhooked in my face. So I just downed the injured person that unhooked and went after the death hook survivor. I was at a pretty low gen count. So I needed some sort of optimal play to bring me back towards a victory. And the Streamer did not take kindly to it while I thought nothing of it, which I don't really care that the streamer took issue with it. I understand how it's not fun. And in a lot of cases, it's just more entertaining to be like, bro, I can't believe he did this. You know, it's make a make a hullabaloo out of it. I'm like, I totally understand that. However, people were sending me the uh, chat reactions to that uh, situation. Uh, the fact, that I even have to call that situation is weird. And uh, a lot of what was being said was uh, all I do is tunnel and camp, which is also not true. <laughs> if you actually watch me at twitch.tv slash the Mr. Attic, you know I match the energy of whoever I'm playing with. If we're just all messing around and being goobers, I'm in. If we want to have a super sweaty match, I sweat back. Simple as that. But there was a lot of implications that because all I do is camp and tunnel, I am not worth watching and I am a bad creator as a result. But TLDR here is essentially there is a hardline policy, a stance on an issue, that issue being tunneling, that if you tan tunnel, if you tan, if you tunnel or camp at all, you are inherently bad, regardless of circumstance, and that ergo makes you unwatchable. This is probably a really extreme stance, at least I hope so. <laughs> but there are plenty of stances people have when it comes to tunneling. I think the most common one in terms of tunneling policy is that by two gens, you need somebody dead. If that's not the case, you need to make it happen. Uh, anything before that is excessive. I feel like that's the most uh, common take that people have. Uh, some people believe that tunneling at all is fine because it's just a game. doesn't matter. Uh, I see that one a lot. Or the reverse, as we saw in our example, that any tunneling is bad and you are bad for it. The problem with having such hardline stances over things like this is it doesn't affect us in real life literally at all. It makes sense to be uh, passionate about a candidate's stance on like government spending because that's something that affects all of us in real life in a very, very serious way. Being tall in a video game doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Does it suck in the moment? Yeah, you'll hear me complain about that. Uh, we play Survivor on Fridays on stream, and I get told, oh my god, that sucks, and I, I'll complain about it a bit, but I don't think any less of the person doing it. I will crack some jokes, but otherwise I just move on, because it, it's not a real-life political issue that affects the way I live my life. It's, it's a video game. It doesn't affect me like that. I think DVD players have this assumption that if they socially police people or bully them, even if it's in spaces outside of where that player resides, they can combat <laughs> aspects of the game that they do not enjoy and kind of essentially public shame people out of playing the way that they enjoy because it's in direct uh, competition with what they enjoy about the game. And they use this level of uh, intensity that I only ever see in political debates and campaigns, I, I guess, to 
inject some level of seriousness and intensity, uh, some air, some gravity to the situation that it just doesn't have otherwise, and it's not actually that big of a deal. But if you incite the like the political heat, the intensity that the political uh, arena has, then a lot of people, more people will pay attention and probably take you seriously just because you're being very intense about it. Regardless, if you've missed the point of this video, I know it's a little bit more of a ranty one. Um, it just astounds me that in Dead by Daylight, like people will have policies, which is something regarded or uh, reserved rather for very, very serious issues that affect our day to day life that uh, are made by our government for something as simple as tunneling, camping, gen rushing, <laughs> like you just real world issues are being traded with the same intensity as strategies or perks in a video game. Um, people often accuse Dead by Daylight of being the most toxic community in gaming, uh, which I will always attest that MOBAs and FPSs have treated me far worse. <laughs> um, but however, what I'm slowly beginning to understand is that we do have the strangest community and the most emotional community in gaming because I can't think of another example off the top of my head where people literally try to <laughs> take hardline political stances about strategies in a game. That is bizarre. So yeah, yeah. Have you noticed this out there in the DVD community? You think people make policy <laughs> stances when it comes to strategies in the game? And how do you feel about it? Let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, it's going to be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But I do upload a day, so I will see, we'll see you tomorrow, as long as I can speak correctly. <laughs> uh, but if I do not see you then, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.